The Gold Coast is renowned as one of the most fearsome street circuits in world motorsport and the early stages of qualifying provided a stark reminder of the dangers that lay ahead during the weekend's racing. V8 Supercars Series leader Jamie Wincup found it quite a contrast to the wide open spaces of Bathurst and he was the first to strike some trouble. This is the right hand mirror going off. Bang, gone. Debris on the track brought proceedings to a halt and pit crews prepared to roll the sleeves up for what was sure to be a busy day behind the scenes. It shaped as a dog of a day for Steve Owen's pet foods Ford when he encountered some early contact and had to fall back on good old fashioned tape to get repaired. James Moffat simply stalled, finding himself stranded on a part of the track that had limited radio reception and he had to holler for a marshal. Officials in race control had their eyes peeled in anticipation of further dramas. However, David Wall didn't see Garth Tander on this outlap after the clock began counting down once more, presumably because side mirrors had become extinct by now. It was obvious that car number two needed plenty of work in time to be right for the afternoon's main event. In sharp contrast to the likes of Mark Winterbottom, who held the quickest time until his Ford Performance Racing stablemate Will Davison came along and topped it in the closing stages. Let's see what Will can do. Yes. 111.46. Well done. The top 10 shootout followed the morning's frenetic trend, with Shane Van Gisbergen going down the wrong road. Oh, big lock up and down the escape road he goes. Over and out. And it was also a pretty hairy ride for James Courtney. Rick Kelly pushed his black beast to the limit and got rewarded for it. So two green boxes. He turns it into three, goes to the top of the list and will knock Michael Caruso off and he does so. Yes. While Kelly's crew were understandably jubilant, Mark Winterbottom wasn't so assured on his lap, looking strangely erratic, and with good reason it seemed. You guys were talking to me for half a lap, I don't know what, what happened there, but I get a 10 or 7 frequency in my ear for the second half of the lap, so I uh, really put you off, that's, that's really frustrating. Kelly's mark stood until Wind Cup waltz past it on the second last run. Sebastian Bourdais looks on and Wind Cup goes to the top. Davison was the only one who could relegate the team Vodafone ace. FPR look on and they're going to start on the front row of the grid. Wind Cup has pole. So it's the reigning champion sitting pretty and he'll start from the front in the Gold Coast Armour All 600 with Davison, Kelly and Michael Caruso to keep him honest. David Rowland's Big Pond Sport. Yeah.